Prime Minister, already 11% of pupils are missing school, even though most are back. So what are you going to do to support schools to make sure that they don't slip, those pupils don't slip further behind? Well, uh, Meg, uh, what we're doing is, uh, 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 just, just to clarify your, your, your figures, it, it's absolutely correct to say that um, uh, we've got 11% of, uh, I think roughly 11% of, yes. of kids not yet said that, so uh, in, in, in school, but uh, that is not because of problems in the classroom with, with COVID. Only 1% of schools that have got... Uh, no, Prime Minister, by, but, but Chair, I was by, only by asking COVID. what you're going to do to support the children but, who are not in school. Uh, uh, what we are doing is a record investment in schools of 14 billion uh, and about another billion pounds to help schools catch up uh, with... Uh, Prime Minister, uh, your figures are a bit, a bit out. You, actually, the per pupil tutoring. funding has gone down by over 6% in the last decade. So the record funding is only in the last year on the top of cuts. But So what are you actually practically going to do? And are you going to learn the lessons of the failure of test and trace and make sure that local schools and local councils can be in, in the driving seat to make sure that pupils don't lose out? Well, uh, great respect. Uh, um, I'm surprised that you're taking quite such a hostile tone. Uh, but uh, we, are, we, are, we, are we are in we are increasing... Uh, the per pupil funding uh, to £4,000 uh, for primary school, uh, £5,000 uh, in secondary school. Uh, Prime Minister, and, can I just and, ask though, that, and, that's, and, that's a long term plan, which no, we know no, about. No, it's happened, it's happened just, just now. Right. And that's happened, pupils, sorry, that's, that's happened just now. And if I can, and on, your, on your point about uh, the, what you call the failure of, of test and tracing, I'm, I'm respectfully going to reject that characterisation. Because uh, I think that although it has huge problems, and although many people are, are deeply frustrated, as several colleagues have, have pointed out, uh, actually I think that uh, they have done a, a quite remarkable job in expanding that operation from a standing start. Uh, and uh, yes, there's a long way to go, and we're going to, and, and we will, we will, we will work night and day to ensure that we get there. But I would not want the many, many, many thousands of people who are working now to deliver test results, to think that this House of Commons, people in this House of Commons, are, are seriously right. accusing them of being failures, well, because I don't think that's true. Prime Minister, but you yourself have set the targets along with the Health Secretary. You've now set the moonshot target of ramping it up to £10 million. Pounds. Who's going to be leading that charge uh, to make it get to £10 million a day? Well, uh, I don't recognise the figure that you've, uh, you've, just, you've just given. But uh, what, I can, what, I can, what, I, what I can tell you uh, is that, uh, and you know, this is the point I was making uh, uh, to, uh, to, to Greg and, and, and to others, there is, there, is, there is an opportunity to do something that is wholly separate from uh, the expansion of NHS tests and trades, and that's to see if we can get right. okay. to a world in which there is a, a test and release system, as it were. And so when that will that technology the, be ready? Because you highlighted that in an answer to, to Mr. Clark. When will that technology be well, ready? You promised said, lots of this by Christmas. How do you know that that's going to be in the place? I, I don't. And I'd be absolutely clear with the committee. So you're being, I, I, you're being I, optimistic, but have you got any evidence to back up that optimism? Well, there are people who make all sorts of claims already about this technology. Yeah, yeah. Well, but what claims I, are you I'm, making? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be cautious and say that I don't... I, I can't sit here today and say that we have such a pregnancy okay. But you style promised test, the moonshot, uh, so... Uh, 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 to, today. And but it, and I, think, I, think, yeah. it, I think the committee would agree that given the stakes and given uh, the opportunity, it, was, it is right for government to invest in such a project, or, or wouldn't you? Well, Prime Minister, can we just go and then to lab... You're building four new labs. When will they be built? Because the lab testing capacity hasn't gone up much since June. Uh, well, that, actually, it's, it's gone up 10% just in the last two weeks. Well, but it, it's still in low, it's in the 300,000s. When will the labs be built, the four labs that you're building? Well, Why are you looking at they, you? As I said, that we will be up at 500,000 tests per day by uh, the end of uh, October, and I think uh, one, one of the labs will be capable of doing 100,000 tests a day, and another of them, uh, 40,000. Are 40, you thinking of using any university laboratories as well as the ones that you're we'll building? We'll be using, uh, uh, not only that, uh, we will be e using uh, facilities uh, across the country and, and indeed buying, uh, we're already buying lab spaces, as you know Meg, we're buying lab space uh, in other countries.